Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaurs Museum. Season 2 Medium Carnivorous Dinosaurs. Carlos the Concavenator, uniquely creative. Scientific name Concavenator. Period Early Cretaceous. Fossils found in Spain or Europe. Description The six meter long concavenator, a carcarodontosaurid, was unlike other dinosaurs. It had a hump on its back. The Carcharodontosauridae family was a group of huge and ferocious dinosaurs. Some of its members were bigger than the familiar Tyrannosaurus rex. Previously, scientists believed that Carcharodontosauridae dinosaurs lived only in Gondwana, the southern supercontinent, because their fossils were found only in South America, Africa, and Oceania. In 2010, scientists were surprised to find a strange Carcharodontosaurid in Spain. It was the first time we found a Carcharodontosaurid in the Northern Hemisphere. The discovery suggested that the family had been much more prosperous than we once thought. They were probably present in all parts of the world, but we only managed to find a small fraction of them. Apart from being found in different places, the six meter long concavenator was also shorter than its relatives. All previously discovered Carcharodontosaurus were larger. These included the 12 meter long Mapusaurus slightly smaller Carcharodontosaurus. Their discovery showed that some Carcharodontosaurids could also be small. How did a small concavenator look like? Meet this guy, Carlos. Carlos the concavenator looks somewhat like the modern camel. The last two vertebrae in the front of the hips were so long that they might form a pointed crest that resembled a camel's hump. A camel's hump stores energy. When a camel travels through deserts, the fat stored in his hum nourishes it with energy. So what was the use of Carlos' hum? We don't have a definite answer. Scientists speculate that it might show off the hum to their preferred mates or use it to regulate body temperature. Concavenator fossils were unique in that having small, bumpy quill knobs on its forelimbs. Quill knobs, usually seen in birds, attach feathers. Scientists have previously found this structure in some feathered dinosaurs. Concavenator was the first non calurosaur dinosaur found to have quill knobs. Scientists were shocked by this unexpected finding, which may mean that primitive theropods had feathers. Of course, some scientists suspect that the structures were not quill knobs because they were less conspicuous and more irregular in size and distribution than those found in other dinosaurs. Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaurs Museum. Join our writer Ms. Yang Yang and artist Mr. Zhao Chuang and start this fantasy journey.